It's very well known how smoking affects physical health and that smoking cessation um, reduces the risk of developing physical diseases such as cancer or cardiovascular disease but what's less well known is how smoking cessation affects mental health. Um, so that's what we set out to, to look at in this study and to, to see actually what happens to a person's mental health scores after they've, they've quit smoking. In order to answer this question we did a comprehensive search of online databases to retrieve all studies that had looked at this question. So in particular we wanted to include studies that had measured a change score. So they'd measured mental health at baseline and then mental health after quitting and compared that to people who'd continued to smoke. We looked into each of these studies and we looked at their outcomes and we categorised the outcomes according to what the measures were designed to assess. Um, so these were things like anxiety, depression, positive affect. Um, and what we found consistently across the board uh, was an association between stopping smoking and improvement in these mental health outcomes. And this consistently favoured the quit group. Um, and to sort of interpret uh, the effect estimates um, from these outcomes, we compared, compared them to antidepressant treatment for um, anxiety and depression. Uh, and what we found is that our effect estimates were actually equal or greater to that of antidepressant treatment for, for mood disorders. So it's quite fascinating. Um, one way you could look at it is that actually people felt better and then this prompted them to stop smoking. Um, but actually that, that's not likely to be true. And this is because most of the studies we included were secondary analyses of randomised control trials of cessation treatments. So in these trials, um, most people tried to stop smoking. So whatever happened to their mental health happened after they stopped smoking. We also know that actually our patients do want to give up smoking in line with the rest of the population. Some patients will say to us, oh, well, it helps calm their nerves. But this research shows quite clearly that that simply isn't the case. In fact, when people give up smoking, actually their mental health improves. What we need to think about is how we can raise awareness in mental health professionals. How can we help our patients give up smoking? What are the things that we can actually do? We know there are smoking cessation clinics that we can signpost patients to. Perhaps we should learn how to give very brief advice. Perhaps we should also be prescribing stop smoking medications. And also I think there's a, possibly an attitude among mental health professionals that we think Perhaps we shouldn't stop our patients smoking because we'd be depriving them of one of their pleasures. But again, there's no real evidence that this is the case at all. One of the things that we often find when we talk to patients is they'll say, I need to smoke because of my stress doctor. I'm, I'm, uh, it improves my mental health. And it's one of those things that I think we've always found hard to argue with. Well, what we can say now is that it's those episodes of not having smoked for a while that give you that feeling of being moody and irritable and a little bit down in the dumps and anxious that is caused by smoking. And when you stop smoking and have stayed stopped for a while, those episodes will disappear and overall your mental health will improve. So I hope these results will give GPs new confidence that uh, they can tackle smoking in those people who find smoking uh, such a crutch for their mental health, in fact probably the opposite is true.